Uh, hello, just, hello. Oh, there you go. All right. Got to push the button. So I guess everybody came last week. <laughs> <laughs> and the announcement I'm going to make today is actually rather humorous to me because as I look around, you either already are or have been a cash counter. But anyway, I'm, <laughs> I'm looking for a new cash counter to join our collecting teams. And we have four two-person teams who count after church one Sunday a month, and the counting takes about an hour. If you like to work with numbers and you want to do some volunteer work for the church, please see me after church today. Kathleen and I will be counting right after church. And I'm not sure that it's going to take us an hour today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have any other announcements? All right. I'm just going to rattle through a few that I happen to have. Uh, one is uh, Andrea asked us to point out that movie night is coming out, coming up. There are some of these on the podium out in the chapel room. And that is this coming Friday, April 21st at 7.30 p.m. The movie is Ratatouille. Um, we also have a new member class coming up. So if you're interested in that, please see Lynn Iardi. Um, on May 6th, we're going to be doing an indoor and outdoor cleanup. So whatever your interest is, we need your help. Uh, let's see. Between Mother's Day and Father's Day, we'll have a food drive going on. And if you are interested in our pastoral search committee, Please see Gina. All right. So my name is John Mazze, and as a member of the Board of Deacons of our church, I welcome you to this morning's worship service. Now please allow the lighting of the altar candles and the ringing of the bell to invite you into silent prayer and meditation as we prepare ourselves to worship our God. Thank you. And I have one more announcement that I forgot, and that is, if we haven't already figured it out, Pastor Dan is off today, <laughs> and we have uh, decided to make the theme of this Sunday on missions, so we have kind of an interesting program, all based on our mission work and various things that we've done. So if you could all join me in the call to worship, please stand. Happy Easter season. Today is the first day of the week. Breathe the breath of the new life in your spirits. Welcome to worship this glorious day. We could all join together in hymn 346. Come, let us join with faithful souls. Thank 
You may be seated. Stand among us once again, risen Christ, and bless us with your greeting. Peace be with you. Stand among us once again, exalted brother, and breathe upon us your promised spirit. Stand among us once again, you who have escaped death, and give us new birth into your living hope. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Jesus came into this world so that we could be forgiven for our sins. Let us confess them now freely. We confess that we far too often want proof for everything, O oh Lord. We want proof that someone loves us. We want proof that we can trust in others. We want proof that everything in life is going to turn out all right. It is easy for us to point our finger at Thomas, who was honest about his fears. He had been seen so much healing and hope. But those hopes seemed dash when Jesus died. Even the news of the resurrection did not completely lift the darkness from his life. Jesus said to him, just as he always says to us, peace, be still. Do not doubt, but believe. Lord, forgive our unbelief. Forgive the many times when we think and act in ways which are hurtful and mean. Heal our wounds, bind up our spirits in the cords of your compassion. Help us to fully place our trust in you with our whole hearts and minds and spirits and souls. For this we ask in your name. Amen. Peace be still. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Jesus came to bring you new life. Believe in him. Receive the blessing of hope and peace. Amen. <laughs> Now, if we could all join in the passing of the peace. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, uh, I know it's not in the bulletin, but we are having a children's message, uh, Gina, so. And while I'm doing the children's message, George is going to flip through some slides for the adults to see on some of the things that I'm talking about. Good morning, guys. Good morning. All right. So today, you're not going to see a lot of it because you're going to be um, with Miss Linda in there. But today's full service is about service, actually. Um, God wants us to serve others. What do you think that means for serve others? Go ahead, Teresa. Okay, so serving others is helping people. If you think about when you go out to like a restaurant, what do the servers in the restaurant do? Serve you food. So they're bringing you something or giving you something, right? Um, so there's many people in our community that are in need of our service. And our church really likes to go out and serve people. Um, so throughout the, the year, we kind of do that. And um, I want to tell you today about two service projects that we did, like not too long ago, um, that were kind of cool. Um, both of them helped the homeless. What does it mean if someone's homeless? Okay. In the forest, sometimes they do. So sometimes people are homeless and it means they don't have their own home, but they're just kind of bouncing around from like people who will let them stay with them. But sometimes they don't have a roof at all and they're out in the cold. And if they don't have a home or a roof, what else don't they have? Food. What are some other things you have in your home that are important? Water, money, yep. Food, clothes, those kind of things, right? So there's two places in Bristol, which is close to here, that help the homeless and we do a lot for them. One is called the agape house. And that's a fancy word for um, the kind of love that God has. It's like a pure, pure, perfect love. And that place not only helps the homeless, but they're like us. They're like a, a faith-based organization. So they talk to them about God as well. And they're open from like the morning to like lunch and they give people breakfast and that kind of stuff. And then they close and a new place opens at one o'clock, which is called Brian's Angels. And they give people lunch and let them shower and that kind of stuff. And then the homeless folks are kind of on their own at the end of the night. So we did a couple of things to help them. And one of them, the youth did this first and then our women's club did it again. They asked for blankets. 
So instead of going and buying them blankets, we made these and they were really simple. All you had to do was cut the fabric and tie the ends. Do you think you guys could have done this? Yeah, if you were in our church at that time, you could have. And I think this is something that we started to kind of do every like winter time, right? To bring to them. And so we brought loads of these blankets to them. And it was really something great that we all got to hang out here together and do, but it helped a lot of people stay warm. And like if they're out in tents or out in the cold, right? The other thing that we quite often do is collect stuff like this, right? That we, we get pretty easy if we go to Walmart or the grocery store, um, but we also give out um, food. So our, our teenagers last year, and Chase is one of them, right? Our confirmation class decided, let's give some food to Brian's Angels. They, their pantry was kind of bare. So we had a pasta supper and guess what the ticket cost to get in? Hit, okay, you could bring money. That's excellent. You could bring a dollar or five or 10. So we had a donation basket. You could just drop money in and then the money would help them. Okay, or 20, that's even better. <laughs> but you could also just bring some, some of this stuff and throw it in a box. And we collected like five boxes of that stuff and brought it over there and they were so happy. Um, so hopefully we'll be doing more of these things. I know we will um, actually, Mr. Mazai just announced today, between Mother's Day and Father's Day, we're gonna be collecting a lot of this stuff again. So you guys can get involved in that and do that. How does it make um, you think homeless people feel when they get helped and they get what they need? We wanna go, David? Happy or good, right? Yep, thankful. And how does it make us feel to do that for somebody else? Happy, right? But the most important reason we do it is because God tells us to do that. And so how do we know that? Where does God tell us to do to serve others? Okay, in your dreams and your minds, there's another place that we, we read about it. Where, where do we read about it? A book, which book? <laughs> the Bible, right? All right, so, you know, God tells us to love others, love our neighbors as ourselves. And that's, so that's what we try to do. You guys did a great job. Hopefully the adults got to see a little bit of the PowerPoint that I don't think many people have seen. <laughs> um, and you can go to Sunday school. I'll now we have our hymn uh, 245. Uh, please remain seated for this. Thank <laughs> Yeah. 
No, as John had said, we're tag teaming today. So uh, uh, now it's time for our sharing of joys and concerns. Dave? We do prayers for Dad's recovery. He's doing really well in the PT and they've given him more and more to do and he keeps showing more and more progress. So great. Kathy? Thank you for all of you, all of you who prayed for my little grandson and our surgery, which was canceled. Uh, so thank you anyway. Um, but I'll be asking for your prayers at the end of May when it's rescheduled. Thank you. Lynn? And prayers for a good friend, Alan Thompson, who suffered a massive heart attack on Thursday and is fighting for his life now at the Elmhaven Hospital. So prayers for Alan. I have a uh, prayer of encouragement. I happen to know two people running in the Boston Marathon. Uh, I told them I'd embarrass them, but Todd, my neighbor right here. And my, uh, my niece, Kelly. So prayers of hope and encouragement for them. John? Uh, as always, prayers for all of our men and women uh, in the military and all of our first responders. And also prayer thanks for all your prayers and please keep them up for my friend Chris's dad, Jim, who is recovering from his stroke and has been doing very well. Okay, if that's all. <clears throat> oh, godly, <clears throat> oh God, we humbly come to you with both joys and concerns. We pray for others that we have mentioned or written on paper, prayer cards request, or in secret places in our hearts. But we also stand in the need of prayer. Sometimes we feel we're drowning in a sea of trouble and we want to ask, why me? Our 24 seven access to world news seems to feed us nothing but news of suffering, abuse, conflict, and grief. When we would feel like it's going mad, please reassure us that we are in your hands. We pray for wisdom and compassion for ourselves and for our nation's leaders. Give us all hearts open to your guiding spirit. We pray for victims of abuse. Let us share the good news with them that there is still love and goodness in our world. We pray for those caught in cycles of poverty or violence, for those in such pain that they turn to harmful drugs for relief. Remind us again of our connections to all of your children, no matter who we are, no matter what, where we come from, regardless of our financial status, race, ethnicity, or sexual orientation. We are welcome in this community of Christ Church. No matter our differences, we are all restless until we find our rest in you, O God. We do not worship or serve an unknown God, but one who is the ground of our being, the source of our hope and the guiding light of our lives. When we rejoice, let us share the credit for our good fortune with all those who make us who we are. And when we are tempted to lose hope in any part of our life, give us again the assurance that you are a personal and loving God that never abandons us, have a deep peace in our souls because we live and move and have your being in the internal God our creator and sustainer. Hear our prayers, O God, which we offer in the name of Christ, who has taught us to pray. Thank you. Now we'll have our invitation to offering. May we give, may we get out of the love that we have for Jesus Christ so that others may share in our imperishable and unfading inheritance of hope and life.
Now, please join me for the offering prayer. Father, great mercy, accept our offerings, even what we call the prayer of the Our first reading this morning is from the Hebrew Scriptures, 2 Samuel, chapter 23, verse 15. David said longingly, Oh, that someone would give me a drink, give me water to drink from the well of Bethlehem that is by the gate. And the second reading is from the New Testament, Matthew, chapter 10, verse 42. And whoever gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of a disciple, truly I tell you, none of these will lose their reward. May the Lord bless the reading of this Holy Scripture. Okay, our sermon this morning is going to be a, a short uh, film of the Wine to Water project. Um, Dave is going to speak a little bit about this. We have a short PowerPoint uh, presentation. I might be able to get up, but um, then we will be you know, watching the video. Um, I'm just asking to say something because I've done it for two years in a row with uh, Andrea usually puts it on Andrea for Benny. And uh, it's interesting to see how much it affected uh, the world. Um, and you'll see that in the video. But the, the thing that I really caught on to this year was we showed two other videos, which you'll be able to get. What's the website? WTW, it's um, winetowater.com, uh, I believe. Uh, they have a YouTube channel that has probably about 30 videos on it of different areas. Um, the one we're going to watch today is what they do kind of in general in other countries and some of the pro projects that they've done there and the technology that they've created to work there. The, uh, the little handheld pumps that we've created, or the filters that we've created, um, Andrea showed a couple weeks back, she had one in a bag that she was showing to everybody. But those have been used most recently in the flood that took place in Florida just last year, and also in Ukraine for all the soldiers. Ukrainian soldiers carry these filters, which gives them, and I don't remember the exact uh, numbers, but it's like 30 years worth of fresh water for one person. So it's it's crazy how and it's a small little unit that they can easily carry in their in their gear um, and not have any problems with it. But it's really it's affected me 
and seeing how it how our what we've done has affected the world. So it's pretty impressive, and I hope you guys like it. I lost the clicker. <laughs> Um, but if you haven't, it's definitely worth doing. Um, if we, I'm sure we're going to continue to do it. Andrea likes it. It's a good company we deal with. And as you'll see, some of the I, uh, some of the things that we'll show in this video, um, people have been doing this for 40 plus years, creating technology for, for uh, third world countries to be able to utilize. That's the hand filter here. This is the filter right here. And the reason there's a syringe next to it is so that you can clear the filter, but it's but essentially it attaches to a water bottle and you can fill the water bottle with dirty water and squeeze it out and it comes out completely clean. Um, we want so, to put out a drink it yeah, that. it'll start looking like this and it'll end looking like that. Mm -hmm. Just from that little filter. That was during COVID, we had to make the filters at home. So it's been going on for more than two years, but I've only been playing for two years. When I was farming with my father, I remember the most beautiful Muslim women that they see in July. Like in two or three or four days, the, the sea opened. So for me, it was the most beautiful sea. What is like, you know, what is David and I think when we would talk about the stressful things that we would have, what we were going through the notions of being a young family, having children, um, he was working in corporate America, um, yeah, that, the bigger house, the bigger We would look at each other and say, this is not a thing. This is not who we are. But looking back, it was a path. And we needed to have that experience in our life to know that this is where we needed to be. I grew up here. Where work I study our grade. I was in the university, I studied with a music, yeah, music teacher at some point, like a conductor. Um, and it is part of my job as a conductor. So, I When we decided to go to leave and we really started to put this on the eighth one of the programs to support her. First step was we got to hire the right people to start, and we wrapped up. You know, luckily we found Johnny Anderson to uh, help us start my work. The guy was just committed to the core, to his people, especially the indigenous population here, which is huge. Nice, pretty good. Yeah. Thank you. 
when it's a uh, dry season, I don't think the river disappear five months without rain. You need to drink water in the same place with the animal, then you get from the rain easy. In this area, we noticed that the people use a lot of the rain water because it can rain all the time. The, the bad thing about the roof is asbestos. At some point, you're going to get sick. They have no water. They have no chips. Yeah, stomach chips. They receive children with big uh, problems. And mostly the people that live in the rural area that came for this problem with the water. Some points are coming to say you are bringing the most important water. We never know the numbers. Just you go to your house and you get a water there. Uh, but you need to walk miles just for to get a bottle. You're going to understand how hard it is. You say, friend, it's dry season. And normally we spend a lot of time looking for water. Uh, she said, right now, I can take care of my, my daughter because I have a well in front of my house. I started reading less in 2003. One thing that I didn't like in life was to get dirty. I always like to be clean because mom didn't want me to get dirty. That I gave it. First thing you're gonna be all muddy and wet and you know completely, I don't know, disgraced. <laughs> but when we put my first water in, we started pumping that water, and the first drop of water came out, and you can see all those little kids' eyes shining. And I was like, wow, <laughs> what an experience. You can uh, Spend your life doing that. Then I can tell you the name of the police or like that. in this moment this is what i feel that i need to do to say thank you for growing up in this region you never know what the jungle will give you only three hours and 58 more minutes to go jack we're gonna make this in a different way what you can try again, traveling around at some point, you, you want to try that or think or just say that is here. Value your life for the same thing you think. Value your life for who you are. People think that they are important for the things that they have, but not for for who they are. I would say that earthquake it destroyed lots of things in the past, but 
it has brought lots of strength in the we were so scared, you know, it was a massive earthquake. I feel it like this is the end. Maybe we're not going to see tomorrow. Maybe I'm not going to meet my dad who's in India. Maybe I'm not going to meet my brother who is in India. It shook us. It shook me personally. It was there that I wanted to live here. My country, and my just work. That's when I just heard the first time white water. I was like, white water? What is this? White water? <laughs> so, oh, I mean, lots of water. <laughs> what I saw in Rashi when we first met and the conversations that followed was someone who cared deeply about what was going on here to think what came from this land, mm -hmm. which was jungle, mm -hmm. and brush, and other drugs, mm -hmm. to being the source mm -hmm. yes. of health and mind and wellness for so many people in the world. Oh, so, yeah. you know. And in the beginning, it was like, I, I struggled with God. I still know it's maybe, I mean, I just, you know, Destroy everything, or I will be able to take it to you know some other level. I started, I started enjoying it. I, I had got a beautiful team, and I, I started finding my strength. That I, yeah, I can be leader. I can do things. Just her relationship with the people uh, is closing away. She comes in and she greets them and they see her and I can just hear her. She's asking them about how they're doing and the mother and the sister and just the love that exudes. It's just amazing. She said that she has struggled a lot in her life. Houses were not included in our project before. I think it's about five months. I think it's so furious that at the time and she was like, she knew that you know, she's not getting all of it. So she's saying that I'm like, I'm not about to fight if you're not getting it to me. <laughs> but I didn't believe it. <laughs> and then it so women, they are the primary caregivers, and we wanted to empower the women. <laughs> she was saying that the reason not inside me that I'm going to be the president of the organization committee, but when all of the other people suggested my name, uh, I thought, why not? These women were very shy. They got a chance to go and talk with municipality people. They got a chance to talk with many of the communities and say that, look, this, this is what we want and you have to even follow it. They made this water project possible. When you see somebody go to a place of such empowerment, of such uh, effectiveness, of such identity, it's overwhelming. I don't say that you know it's I do something great, but I think um, I understood the building of fine water international, and I think that matches with what I am looking for. For my country, it was like, okay, this is what I always wanted to do. The big problem for my art is uh, I only like my art before party. I start to pay, I put into the kill, but after we finish, go back. The most special for me when I made the, the, the beast the is when I made the 
mean, I stop where I finish. I, I it's the end of the period. So they don't like it. Here, I want to present you. I want to finish them. Because that the soul of this world is terrible. Yeah. I was hoping for you need five people like Rana Mance in your life, and you'll be fortunate. Mm -hmm. He's an engineer, he's an adventurer, he's an artist, he's a big man. He said it on one problem, he's stopping me. I do all the things that you could hear me from the bed or by the world. Yes, on the world, I just made a special medicine. I decided. He was known as an artist, well, before his enterprise and his initiatives were coming water. When I first met Rada, the so Renaissance man in a small village of healthy people. Help develop a global technology that is yet really to be truly discovered. You can see the flow, how the street is flowing, drop by drop. It's really remarkable. World class, we call it. The Rada is the passion of Rada, he dreams about it, sweets about it, eats about it. Sometimes my friend said, Yeah, I'm working, you know. Have a case. I never have a case at the land. I told Mr. the confidence of the You can go to the resort. There is one person in town. Especially if you have sitting on the beach in the pool, eating food. Okay. I say, I think that's the way you want to The day of the birthday is the best day of the world because you say, you say, oh, this is the day that I go, I need to make something better. <laughs> if you get something good in your life and you keep it just for you, you are doing nothing. You have the opportunity to say, hey, man, I have something to give you. I have something that important that I can share with you. Developing new idea, I I believe the more happy man in my life. They 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 give three names to me. And I don't know how to say about this. In, in English, is when you go to the church and then yes, they back to see me three times. The first time they give my name, Rada Mel my father gave my name. The second name was crazy <laughs> because I know that he tried to do again. Always, it's new, it's new, it's new. Now, in this moment, nobody said crazy to Rabbi Kaya. Anybody said crazy to the style of the people, they say silent. Three times like this. Very Brahmin Karela, crazy, and now scientific. They needed all of me now, science. Because when they was saying crazy, I never stop, I continue. I continue what? I listen today, I stop it, now it is crazy. I know that everybody has something. If you share the good things about you, you are doing the best. 
मिल चुका है It was more impressive the second time. <laughs> We'll have our closing hymn in the white hymnal, number 47.
Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time we could spend in your presence today. Help us remember that you have given us more than we could ever ask for or even imagined. Help us to continually turn our eyes to you in worship and adoration, for you are the Alpha and the Omega, King over all. We thank you for all these blessed with us, the family, the friends you surround us with. We thank you for the freedom we find in you. In your name, amen. <laughs> In great mercy, God has given us a new birth into living hope, for it is the risen Christ who stands in our midst and says, peace be with you. We go forth to walk the path of new life and living peace, and may the peace of the risen Christ be with us. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. 